Okay, so here we have the Technet Raptor gaming mouse with 2000 DPI. It's a six button mouse, you've got the, the two normal ones. Click is about average uh, volume. <laughs> um, you've got the middle mouse wheel button, which is also obviously the wheel and it's a rubberized grip on it, so it's a nice feel. You get the bumps as you turn it, so you uh, get some good feedback there. You have the DPI setting. This will change it from 600, 1200, or 2000 DPI. And you have the two thumb buttons, very small, smaller than normal. So, but they work just fine. The mouse itself, it's a nice design. Looks kind of uh, futuristically, futuristicy, <laughs> futuristic. <laughs> can't say that word the cord is a corded mouse it is uh, got the nylon covering over the cord so it gives it a makes it a bit more robust and uh, helps with the tangling it doesn't tangle so much I love these cords because they're very hard to get them to tangle up quite a large USB plug bigger than most don't know why it's this big it's got a little uh, I think they're the magnet things are they in there? I'm not sure what they are. I think they're just for magnets or something. Uh, so there you go, that's your cord. The cord is about about a metre and a half. Roughly. It's a decent size, fits the hand nicely. I have quite small hands, but uh, fits lovely. Nice and comfortably, and the thumb buttons seem to be in the right places as well. What I'll do now is I'll plug it in so you can see it light up. There you go. Sorry, that's my connection tone there. So this is it lit up. It is blue. It has a, a blue light. You can't change it. There's no software for this. Underneath is a red laser. Got a blue light which you can see kind of turns. Let me turn this down. Okay, if I turn that down, maybe you just see there's a bit of a, the red light coming through. I think that's just the laser. There goes the three DPI settings work nicely. There's no real feedback or light change depending on what setting you're on, so you just have to judge it on the screen. There's only three, so it's easy to see the difference between the three, because there is a bit of a gap between the three settings. So it's a nice, nice looking mouse. I personally don't like the quality of it. I think the, the plastic is very, um, that kind of cheap, brittle plastic. So I'm not really a fan of this mouse, if I'm honest. And um, what looks like a, it should be a grill at the top is actually not. This is just plastic that's made to look like it uh, is a grid or a grill. But uh, it's not it's just like a see-through plastic, basically, with bumps on it to give that effect. So it looks better than it feels. Let's put it like that. It looks better. It looked good in photos and stuff, but in person, it... Uh, definitely has a cheap feel about it but then it is a very you know budget mouse anyway so you can't grumble for the price it has a, a matte finish on it it's not shiny and glossy so shouldn't have too much of a problem with sweat although it's still not as nice as the rubberized ones but uh, there you go on the side there are plastic grills just kind of give it a, a cool look that's the one side and that's the other. Of course this side will always be covered by your thumb so and this will be covered by your fingers so it's a bit of extra decoration there anyway. Pads on the bottom. I haven't used this mouse a hell of a lot to be honest. But although uh, even though this pad is still it was coming off. It seems to be reattached itself now, but it was kinda coming loose. So it says there it is Turn that off, I'll see the focus. There you go. Model M268. So, I mean, on Amazon, this has been called the Razor, but again, it doesn't say. I noticed that with a lot of Technet mouse, mouses, or mice, whatever you call, call them. They don't actually say the name on the device itself, it's just got a model number. So, it doesn't actually say Razor on it anywhere. There's no decal. But that's what it's being called on Amazon. So there you go, it's a decent mouse. I, I don't know, you know, whether it will be one to keep for 
a long time whether it will last i mean it seems to be sticking to the basics it's not trying to be anything too extraordinary so if you're just looking for a nice basic mouse with a bit of style uh, i think you can't go wrong with that you know if you want a budget or if you have a young son or daughter who's a gamer i think they'd be quite happy with that but uh, as they get to their teen years i think they're going to be looking for something a bit uh, a bit more customizable but it definitely does what it sets out to do give you a slightly better look there you can see it's very plasticky it's not as it's not as high quality as it looks in the photos it's just uh all plastic around there and quite a hard brittle plastic if that makes any sense to you you can see the lights through the buttons there and the grill i personally won't be keeping this mouse um so if anybody's looking for this they can send me five pound and i'll send it to them i'll send it to you uh so there you go so i hope that was uh, somewhat helpful uh getting a closer look at this mouse and uh i'll see you next time But it will definitely do as uh, it'll definitely. But it will definitely do what it intends to do. But it definitely does what it it. But it definitely does what it goes.